Salutations, beautiful people. I think I, I kind of like that. Anyway. Evening Whisper, Sunday, October 18th, 2020. Coachella Festival proves to be a major boost for Seattle tourism. More women have spoken up and claimed Morris Lester lied. Ooh, what did he lie about? Initial reports indicate possible herpes outbreak at Coachella. Was Usher there? That's like 20 years old, okay. Anyway, I want to see if anything's new. Oh, Rachel, yay! I love my family, cats, milk, and you. <laughs> I've been dancing, singing, and trying to achieve my dreams since I was 13, and I'm not stopping now. That's sweet. Good job, Rachel. Hello! You're finally here. Hey, all. Hey, yo. Uh, hi, Freya. Huh, someone's feeling happy today. Of course! Did they... They approved it! We're so happy for you. Congrats! Oh my! Do you know how happy I am? Judging from your expression, I'd say somewhere between ecstatically and rapturously. You're goddamn right! Oh my god. Oh my god! How'd they react to the draft? Surprisingly. They liked it. <laughs> That's amazing. I know, right? I couldn't believe it either. They told me if the book sells well, they definitely sign me for a second book. I'm so happy for you. Anyway, whatever happens with the book now, I can take things a little slower. Because they gave me a year to finish it, with a feedback session every month. Sounds professional enough? Of course! They are the biggest publisher around. Enough about me. How's the coffee shop been doing? It's been great. We had a lot of new customers lately. And some old timers, of course. I heard Hyde's back from his trip to Korea? Yeah. Brought us some gifts back. He didn't get any for me? I'm not sure. But he did say he always gives gifts directly. Gift giving the old fashioned way, eh? How about you? Things are great. Last time I saw you was before your mini break. Yes, we decided to go to Coachella. Whoa! Dude, that event was a mess. <laughs> Yeah, three hours at the festival was enough for us. Where'd you go after that? We ended up in Port Townsend. How was it? I enjoyed it. I never knew a historical trip could be fun. Aw, oh, yeah, I saw your new profile pic, Alqua. You both look so cute. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> ah, thanks. Was taken during re your vacation? No. Who's at Max? They had a Japanese-style photo booth there. So I forced her to take a picture together. You were a Max 2, Myrtle? Yeah. Helped her out a bit with the booth. Thank you. You don't have to keep thanking me. Oh, by the way. Have any of you heard from Neil? No. Not me. They did send two postcards to the coffee shop. Really? Yeah, one's from Couchella. That's not even that far away. Why send a postcard? Hard to tell with them. What about the second one? It's from New York. What? What are they doing in New York? Beats me. Working on their mission, maybe. Ha! <laughs> yeah, probably. They stand more of a chance there. Anyway, guys. Uh, we're leaving for the night. Aw, come on. So soon? Uh, we were here for hours before you arrived. We need to work tomorrow. Yeah, fair enough. Take care on your way, then. Good luck with the novel. Thanks. See ya, ya boy. See you around. They look happier than when I first met them. They do. It's not easy to find someone you can be comfortable with in such a short amount of time. Yeah. Anyway. Sorry if it seems like I'm ignoring you, Baileys. Ah, no worries. I don't feel ignored at all. Are you by yourself tonight? Nah, I'm waiting for Lua. She has some work to do. This late at night? Yeah. She's been doing overtime for the past few days. How the two of you doing? Things have been great. In fact, after ten years together, we're finally moving in together next month. Wow! Congrats! But I thought Lua lived with her flatmate. We're moving to a new place. 
she got promoted recently, and her custom and her company is providing her with an apartment. Wow, she must be a real big deal in her office. Well, she definitely earns more than me. That's not saying much, Bailey's. <laughs> ah, you shouldn't say that. Like, shouldn't say stuff like that to a feller freelancer. Uh, here she comes. Ah, oh, Bailey's. I'm so sorry. I didn't expect it to take so long. I thought I'd be done, but honey. It's all right. Fred and your boy have been keeping me company anyway. Oh, hey, Fred. And your boy. Sorry for barging in without saying hi. How's it going? I'd say things are great. But not as great as you two lovebirds. You told her already? Only about the moving in part. Well, so you've heard. We're going to move in together next month. Where is it? Not far. I mean, the company provided the place, so they want to cut my commuting costs as much as possible. Eh, that's thoughtful of them. It means they don't need to reimburse my taxi fees when I'm working overtime. Oh, uh, yeah. That, too. It also means we get to visit this place more. That's a good point. You know this coffee shop a lot, anyway. I don't mention it. I have a question for both of you. Go on. The last time we met... I believe you're going to introduce Bailey's to your parents? How'd it go? Man. Her father didn't kill me, at least. Well, at least Papa let you eat lunch with us. That's rare, you know. I know. And, uh, at least they didn't say no. Which means a lot, I guess. It was a good start. It was definitely a good start. Anyway, Bailey's. We need to go now. Or we'll miss the intro again. You folks going somewhere? Yeah, we're going to watch the midnight screening of Full Metal Conflict. I didn't take you for someone who likes FMC Lua. I don't, but this guy loves it. Hey, you always enjoyed watching me playing the game. I enjoyed watching you, not the game. Yeah, too bad I didn't introduce you to Myrtle just now, Bailey's. She worked on the game. Really? Ah, well, I'll be visiting this place more often. I'll probably meet her again one of these days. Yeah, you probably will. Now go, you love parts. You don't want to miss the movie. Alright, I'll catch up with you later, Freya. Bye, you boy. Enjoy the movie. Wow. There they go. I'm so happy for them. They've still got a long way to go, and probably a lot of obstacles in their path. But they're moving forward. Yes. How you write their story. As it is. It's beautiful enough. Has enough drama. Ha! That's one way to put it. Anyway! What's that look for? You haven't told me about any of our other friends here. How are they doing? You only skip coming for ten days. What do you expect? Ah, oh, come on. They played an important part of my writing process, remember? Well, there's some updates about the regulars. Tell me! Tell me! Where should we start? Lua visits this place more often now that they live nearby. Last time they came, they were talking about catering and venues. Hyde returned from his trip to Korea and bought gifts. Some are more special than others. He said he's reconsidering moving back to Seattle if his agency allows it. Um, Aqua continues to work with the university. She's still working on small indie games. The difference is, she's not alone now. <laughs> Neil. The only news about their superhero reading mission are the two postcards they sent me. Beautiful job. Rachel's back at the recording studio, preparing her first solo album. She found a new manager, someone who made the news as a legend coming back to the industry. Oh, that's nice. And finally, Freya. She finished her book, got published, had some signing sessions. It was a massive success, sold out even after the fourth printings. It might be adapted to a movie. Well, everybody, that was Coffee Talk.
That was a nice. That was nice. That was nice. I'm just gonna let all this play. You get to see everyone who worked on this great game. Public relations? I... I assume that's advertising. Dang! Oh right, I forgot it was in different languages as well. <laughs> development babies. Development cats. Wow. Dang, they're even crediting their beta testers. I, I don't know. I just don't see that too much. Like, they're a pretty critical part. Like, they give you the feedback that you need. It's a lot like the novel that uh, Freya was writing. Oh, Georgie. It's nice. so nice thank you coffee talk <laughs> oh welcome hello you boy good evening sir um have we met before i'm sure this is your first time here of course i've been here in fact, I've worked here before. What? Wait. No way. Is that really you? It's been a while. You've changed a bit too much. I've learned a lot about how to live with your people since then. I assume it was a success then? Multiple successes. What's with the new look then? Just trying to blend in. Seems like another thing. Immigration agency is after me. Now you mention it. Somebody did visit this place looking for you. When was it? Not so long after your second visit here. Is this Neil? Is he a bald guy in a suit? Yes. That fire agent. You've seen him? Yes. Thankfully, I've changed my appearance since then. By the way, you can drop the act in front of me. So you finally noticed. I think that such power can be born from our kind. You're good with your act, though. It took a few tries. There's some timelines where I... where I forget to pretend that I don't have some knowledge of certain stuff. <laughs> Interesting. Now I'm curious to know about those mistakes. Well, it happened a few times. First, when Freya told me about her meeting in the elevator. Then it was the first time Rachel visited this place. The last one involved you on your second visit. Huh? Oh, and there's another one right before Freya got her draft approved. Can you show it to me? Assuming you know how I communicate with my kind. Never tried it, but let's see. Wait. Oh! Wow. Okay. I thought this was gonna be the- I thought this was gonna be the end. Now I'm- now I'm- now I'm curious. Okay. I was thinking about ending off this week and trying to go for a new one next week, but now... Now we're keeping this going. Okay, thank you everybody for watching. Wow. Oh, now I'm excited.
excited. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>